All right, guys, I am back from my trip to New York City. It was really fun. But now that I'm back in the office, I am so behind in projects. So today I did not want the day to finish without me doing at least one of these projects. And let's go to the bench. So look at what came in. And uh, this is a Blue Eddie box. Blue Eddie had sent me uh i think the production version of that that's like the ac 200p that's the ac 200 max pre-production and i think this is the production so let's check it out and see uh how well it is one of the things that we want to check is to make sure that the um the plug that had the reverse uh polarity issue is now fixed right and so that's the main reason why I wanted to get a production version and check it out. So let's take it out of the box uh, and then check the plugs to see if, they're, if they indeed fix that. There we go. All right, look at that. It came at 62%. Uh, DC off, let's turn it on. Okay, the DC turns on. Let's turn the DC AC on. Boom, there we go. So, of course, I've done a review of this unit, right? And the whole thing uh, before. So, this is just in the review. Uh, what we came up is that this plug was backwards from these ones, right? And so now that's the only thing we're checking here today. We know what this unit is, it's pretty amazing has two kilowatt hours uh, worth of battery, uh, right? 2,048 watt hours of lithium iron phosphate, super long lasting battery, super safe, and can deliver up to like almost 3,000 surge and 2,000 watt continuous on uh, these here. This is a pretty amazing unit. It's got, you know, uh, wireless charging for your phone, and it's got all kinds of USB A, USB uh, 18 watt right here, and then the, the three watts, and then even a USB C, along with the tw uh, 12 volts, 30 amp, which is pretty good for like RV applications. It's the van life uh, person, then you can install one of these inside your van and you can power most of your 12 volt uh, through this plug right here, right? So this is a pretty amazing piece of equipment. Uh, it's very popular. A lot of people are buying it. We made videos showing you how to charge it um, with solar, right? And then also how to add an extra battery, a DIY battery. But of course, this is the first unit that you can actually like put a legit battery, you know, like one that's official battery from a Blue Eddy, right? This is one of the batteries. It's got this plug in here. And then you plug that on the edge over here and then you can extend it. You can put two of those batteries up to two of those batteries in these plugs in here. And so you can ex uh, extend the capacity up to, well, that's two kilowatts. This is like six kilowatts. So this becomes a really big battery system, right? That you can use or you could just use it like this. So it's pretty, it's kind of modular. It's pretty cool. So the only thing that was bad is this. Let's test that. Okay, so you're gonna need one of these polarity meters uh, and then a grounding plug. This just connects one of these pins, the neutral pin to the ground pin because that's how it's supposed to be installed on a ground bonded installation, right? When you install this, of course, only the center one turns on, only the center light. And that usually means that there's an open ground, which there is because this unit right here, it's a floating ground. Uh, device right so the ground is not connected to anything but as soon as we connect this plug well then it connects it to the neutral pin and then that light turns on so this is how it's correct when you plug this into any socket and both of these lights turn on then that's correct so now what we need to do is check to see that this one is also correct and the way we're going to do that is we're just going to match the pins right so the small let's see, we take this apart the small pin right here is according to this guide oh man come on according to this guide the the small uh hole 
is the hot and the bigger one is the neutral. And on this one, the one closest right here, this one is a hot and this one is a neutral. So this one and the small one should have continuity. And then this one and this one should have continuity. So in order to check that, we're gonna use just a regular multimeter uh, set for continuity. Just make sure you turn the unit off so you're not checking uh, polarity here on these plugs when they're live. But basically, this has continuity, so you can hear it. Ah, look at that, see? So now I connected the two pins closest to each other and then the two pins farther from each other. So now those are correct. So there you go. This is now plugged correctly. Now this matches that. And yeah, sure, it's got a floating ground. So when there is no bonding going on, right? No ground bonding, then it doesn't really matter uh, the polarity, right? But as soon as you bond it, and an application where you might ground bond this unit is if you plug it, use it as a UPS and you plug this into your building's wiring because then your building's wiring is gonna have the neutral pin connected to the ground pin. And therefore, when that happens, then if you end up using this plug, an issue could arise if this is plugged incorrectly. But now that they have fixed this, that you, this unit should not have any more issues when it comes to polarity issues. Now you should be able to bond this uh, when you use it as a UPS unit and all the plugs are gonna be matching. The right pins are gonna be the neutrals and the right pins are gonna be the hot pins. And so then, yeah, this is all good stuff. So there you go. This is the AC200 Max, the first unit from Blue Eddy that you could add batteries, right? So expansion uh, batteries, and you can increase the capacity. It's one of the most popular units out there. I'll leave a link to the description of this unit. This is very popular. A lot of people are using it to power their homes for emergency uh, situations, backup, emergency backup power, or just to save money by charging this battery with solar and then using some of your appliances with this. There's a wide range of possibilities with this guy to be able to use it for a bunch of different applications, right? And so there you go, Blue Eddy AC200. They fix the one little issue that they had, so you should be able to order this without much concern of that. And so there you go, link in the description. We'll see you guys on the next video, bye.